globally, about 10% of people will experience an eating disorder during their lifetime. And yes, eating disorders are profoundly misunderstood. Misconceptions about everything from symptoms to treatment make it difficult to navigate an eating disorder or support someone you love as they do so. So let's walk through what it is and what it isn't and what is true about eating disorders. First, what is an eating disorder? Eating disorders are a range of psychiatric conditions characterized by these main patterns of behavior. Restricting food intake, binging or rapidly consuming large amounts of food, and purging or eliminating calories through vomiting, laxatives, excessive exercise, and other harmful means. An eating disorder can usually involve any one or more of these combinations, uh, more, of, more of these behaviors uh, with combinations. So for example, people living uh, with anorexia usually, usually restrict the amount of food they eat while people with another di di disorder can be characterized by recurrent binges and purges. Importantly, these behaviors determine whether someone has an eating disorder or not. You can tell whether someone has an eating disorder from their weight alone. People who weigh what medical professionals might consider a healthy range can have eating uh, disorders, including severe ones that damage their long-term health in invisible ways, including uh, anemia, heart damage, ki kidney damage, and so on. Just as we can tell whether someone has an eating disorder based on the weight alone, we can't get rid of these disorders simply by eating differently. That's because eating disorders are, at their core, a psychiatric illness. From what scientists understand, they involve a disruption of someone's self-perception. Most people who experience them are severely critical of themselves and report many self-perceived flaws. They may be, uh, they, they may use eating to try to re regain some control over an internal sense of chaos. We still don't know what causes those eating disorders. There likely isn't a single cause, but a combination of genetic and environmental factors can contribute to them. Sometimes other mental illness, illness like depression or anxiety can cause symptoms of eating disorders. In addition, central uh, psychological features such as perfectionism, uh, perfectionism and body image dis dissatisfaction are risk factors for eating disorders. So, several social factors contribute too, including in internalized weight stigma, exposure to bullying, ra racial and ethnic assimilation. Although there are, uh, there are many uh, challenging psychiatric disorders to treat, Effective ther therapies and interventions include, and many people who receive treatment do make a full recovery. But because of these complex effects of eating disorders on uh, both the body and the mind, treatment usually in includes a combination of neuro nutrition counseling and monitoring psychotherapy, and in some causes, med medications. So, eating disorders can provoke a powerful sense of powerlessness. But education for indi individuals, families, and communities help erode this uh, stigma and improve the access to uh, such useful treatment.